What's up, gang? Today, I'm gonna put a steering wheel on, carbon fiber steering wheel that I have received from a sponsor. I'm gonna put their Instagram down below. If you wanna get them a follow, get yourself a steering wheel. If you use the code BUG, you get 50% off. Oh, not 50% off, $50 off. But it's time to put a new steering wheel on this. It's strong played out, it's all worn down. I um, got the pieces for this. I'm gonna show you how to install it. First things first, and then time you do anything that has to do with the airbag, you wanna disconnect the battery. Uh, no matter what car it is, I usually just disconnect the negative. On a Durango, the battery is under the passenger seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this seat up real quick. This up on the chargers, challengers, the battery is in the trunk. So, me personally, I never disconnect the positive, but me personally, I just only disconnect the negative. It's a loser. You gonna get rid of this? Fight? You are the loser. Leave something right here so the negative don't touch. So, me personally, before I start messing with the airbag, I will click the buttons on my remote. So I know it has no more power, but then I will hit the horn, make sure it doesn't go off. Now you could use screwdriver, flathead. Me personally, I like to use a T25 to remove this airbag. Cause this, this hole right here, it's kind of complicated. It's a spring behind it that when you push it, it bends inwards and then you'll be able to pull this side out. Then you repeat it on this side. So what you wanna do is you kind of feel it once you push it in. Once you feel that spring, this will release out. Just like that, one side is off, let's do the other side. Just like that, airbag loose. So now what you wanna do is disconnect this, these two plugs and this plug. You grab a little flat, pop this orange little cap off. And then you get back behind this little black part, flick this blue part up a little bit, and the black part will come up. So it looks something like this. So once you got the orange part out, go ahead, pop this out, pop this out. And then you just get this piece off. Once you shut the flathead behind this blue part, it'll be able to come out just a little bit, and boom, pull it right off. Just like that. That's how you get the airbag off. Then, if I'm not mistaken, that is a T50 to get this boat off. But you want to disconnect these two plugs, this one and this one. I usually use a flathead for this part. Yeah. It's like that. You want to grab an Allen key, like a size 10 or a T50. Put that right here. Me personally, I use an impact gun. You could use a socket wrench, but I'll use an impact gun once you unbolt that off whole steering wheel slide off. Grab the impact gun, put it on right there. Just like that. Wheel comes off, that old steering wheel come off. Make sure a lot of people, they always spin this. Do not spin that. That is called the clock spring. Once you spin that, go ahead and buy yourself a new one, buddy. That steering wheel. This is the steering wheel. I went with the blue outline. This steering wheel does have heated features. I may or may not use it. I don't really care for stuff like that. I chose that color because it goes on my Durango, as you can see. If you would like to get yourself one, shoot over to carbonfever.us. Use code BUG, get $50 off on your next order. So if I was you guys, what you would want to do now is take these buttons and paddles off. But since these are RT paddles, I'm not going to be reusing these. I'm going to go ahead and take the other steering wheel off my scat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the buttons and paddles off this wheel. This wheel a little beat up, but I'm going to end up putting the sway steering wheel on my scat. So I'm going to take this little chrome piece off, swap the buttons over. Well, the buttons are already on there, so 
I'm gonna put on a skit. In order to get these buttons off, you wanna turn this around. That is two caps on each side. Oh, oh. Don't lose this piece. Go ahead and put that right there. Take both sides off. So before someone had called me, cut the video out. You're gonna need, a, I believe, a T15 or T20 for that side. And then, I believe a T20 for the, the front. But it's also another T20 behind here. My phone is on 10%. Let me try to get this video done for y'all. Go ahead and take the two bolts behind the paddles off. Or well, there's one to take the paddle off. There's one on each side. Once you loosen that bolt, you will see another bolt. This is what's holding the buttons. The one right here and the one behind. If you got these bolts loose, go ahead and grab them, put them somewhere safe. Don't want to lose these. These, these bolts is nearly impossible to find. So try not to lose these. here then you want to turn the steering wheel around then there's some other two bolts right here just like that take them boots off They're right here so once you pop these off, you want to disconnect the plugs, the plug on each side. Once you unplug them, just go ahead and pull them off, put them to the side. So this plug right here, these two, there's the paddles. Go ahead and disconnect that. Once you disconnect those wires, go ahead and pull them through. That one paddle off, the other side. Once all the buttons are pulled off, this is what you left over with. You do want this harness, but since my current car has an LED airbag, I will have to take the harness from that steering wheel. Let me go ahead and pull this airbag harness off. Steering wheel harness off. This is what the non-LED harness looks like. It's mainly black tape. This is yellow tape. What makes it different, this plug connector for the airbag to make it light up is different. Now you wanna grab the steering wheel and just basically reinstall the parts back on. If you took off the other steering wheel, what you wanna do first is do the paddles. You don't screw them in. You just basically fish them through first. Once you fish paddle wires in, just leave them to the side. Go ahead and grab your buttons. They go right over both. Just like that. And you want to flip it over, but make sure these don't fall off so you can button up these buttons. So you put the screws there before you button up the paddles. Once you put that bolt in there, go ahead and tighten that up. That will hold this button in there. They can go ahead and do the other side. Charger. Once both buttons are on, go ahead and put the paddles on there. Line it up with that hole. Then you can put your screw in on both sides. Once you screw those on, go ahead and put these caps back on. That's the wrong side. I saw the acid mine, I saw the tear so I'm trying to make a video over here. Put this cat back on. Take that up, just like that. Get it out the way. It's okay, the positive and negative is touching. 
There's no live power. You can do that to the side. Then you're gonna put the harness together, plug them up. Then you can put the stereo on. Clock spring wires. Yeah, changing my stereo. You got bored? No, I didn't get bored. Just like your um, flip stereo, right? Yeah. Then you want to put the, the main bolt that holds the wheel in. The yellow, the yellow one. Grab the impact gun. Make sure you don't. Clamp any wires. up again get you unplugged from the clock spring make sure you took any unwanted wires out the way mm-hmm just like that mm -hmm. then go ahead grab your airbag them three wires plug them back up Just give it a little bang, just like that. It's on there. Now you want to put the negative back on. If that if that blows your airbag up, then you did something wrong. Now you want to make sure your horn works. If that works. Make sure the LED airbag is working properly. Yep, it's red. It's good to go. Now fully tying up the ground. And that's how you put the stereo on. Let's get this POV real quick. My phone is about to die. If your screen is blue, just like this, don't panic. It's because you disconnected a battery. Just drive for a little bit, cut the car on and off. It should go back to original. So with that being said, I can't use my SRT pages until this resets. Backup camera doesn't work until the screen resets as well. The paddles don't work yet. Yes. Yeah.